Sierra Rizwana Hassan of Bangladesh. His Excellency President Benigno S. Aquino III, Trustees of the Raman Magsaysay Award Foundation, distinguished guests, fellow awardees, and friends. Let me first of all express my heartfelt gratitude to the Raman Magsaysay Award Foundation for giving me this honor and for recognizing my work for environmental justice. This indeed is recognition of and a definite encouragement for all movements around the world for the protection of Mother Earth. My journey as an environmental lawyer started back in 1993 when I joined Bangladesh Environmental Lawyers Association, Bela, which embedded the visionary and dynamic leadership of its founder, Dr. Mahyuddin Farooq. The Bela leadership inspired young lawyers like me to work for the cause of environment and explore innovative ways of using the law to defend rights and denounce injustices. Our journey for environmental justice has been a relentless one. We at Bela are proud to be associated with a cause that deeply affects the life of every Bangladeshi and indeed every human being around the globe. We began our fi first fight against the plundering of our natural resources by those privileged corporations and bodies who enjoyed a long culture of impunity. Our efforts were aimed at halting such trends of plunder by subjecting the wrongdoers to due process of law. We had to rebut erroneous economic arguments and challenge mindsets, making our job eventful, challenging, adventurous, and thrilling. We believed the law was for all and had to be ensured for all equally. We are fighting for the rights of our farmers, our fisher folk, and our forest dwellers. We stand for the protection of the trees, the hills, the lakes, and the rivers, to whom we all are indebted for our well-being. We continue to question the faulty, short-sighted, and exploitative path of development that destroys the natural resource base. Our fight is against deprivation, maladministration, and abuse of power. Due to the mighty vested powers involved in the game, the process of change has been cumbersome and lengthy. We live with hope and in the face of adversities gather strength from the force of truth and truth only. Nineteen years down the road, we may not claim to have righted all the wrongs. We are unable to paint a rosy picture, but we can boldly and strongly assert that now hardly any environmental wrong or any attempt to interfere with people's environmental rights in my motherland goes unattended or unchallenged. Although we may seem unconventional in what is considered traditional legal practice, this recognition by the Max Saisai Award Foundation today testifies that we are on the right track and reasserts the validity of our movement for environmental justice. This award, I firmly believe, will help strengthen the process greatly. With my full commitment to continue more rigorously in pursuing the cause of environmental justice, particularly for the poor, let me conclude by echoing the famous words of Martin Luther King. No, we are not satisfied, and we shall not be satisfied until justice pours down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 